Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I am going to show you how to install uh, GPU support using TensorFlow. I have GPU in my uh, workspace and I would like to use this GPU to do some deep learning and machine learning calculations. So as you all know that GPU is much faster in doing like simple calculations that involves in calculating the gradients and other things in the machine learning and deep learning lear uh, deep learning things so uh, GPU is much faster than CPU I have tested it and uh, like for example if I can give you an example that is a training a model which takes around 30 minutes per, per epoch in CPU which will, that would take around what two three minutes in GPU so it's much faster so initially GPU was not the GPU support uh, was not in my PC so I could only use my CPU so but uh, as the my models grew bigger and bigger I needed to convert my training to GPU as soon as possible so in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the GPU support if you don't have one. Okay, so I'm going to show you TensorFlow for TensorFlow in this video. Later, I'm going to do one for PyTorch CUDA as well. So this uh, installing or integrating the GPU in uh, uh, TensorFlow is a bit tricky because you have to go specifically into this uh, website this address and you need to follow their instruction precisely to get the gpu settings okay so first of all you have to know if your hardware is compatible with the current cuda versions with the gpu which is they are asking of so for uh one thing that you have to know is that you have to have uh, an nvidia graphics card uh, and you have to check if the NVIDIA graphics card has this uh, CUDA architecture to be higher than 3 in some case, in this case exactly. So you, you can go into this link here, which would uh, give you a list of the CUDA enabled uh, architectures. Yeah, this is for NVIDIA R RTX, this is for GeForce, I have GeForce one. So I'm just going to click it and find my, uh, find our like you know the GPU model from here and check the compute capabilities. So I have a GeForce GTX 1060 so it's 6.1 well above 3 range so it needs to be like you know uh, uh, NVIDIA GPU card with CUDA architectures uh, and higher than 8 so these will all work for enabling GPU uh, for your deep learning architectures. So it, when you check it and when you're sure that it's, about, it's within these numbers, you can move on to the next step, which is uh, installing the appropriate software uh, for, for your GPU configuration. So you, for this step, you exactly need to follow these like software requirements. You cannot, if you install, like I have tried installing uh, in a like in a stack overflow, I've read that installing a uh, CUDA version nine would work but uh, for this uh, for I, I've, I've installed CUDA version 9 I've installed CUDA version 11.2 also 10 but it didn't work for me every time when I search for GPU during my deep learning training it didn't show me any GPU so I, I came here found this and then uh, in a separate a post of Stack Overflow said to follow these precisely so I did so I did uh, uninstall all of my uh, previous CUDA drivers. What you can do to install is like add or remove. You can go here. Oh, let me just bring it up here and then search for your CUDA here, NVIDIA CUDA documentation. So uh, as you can see, I have all 11.0 now, but you might have something different if you have installed it before. If you have installed an another version uh, before, you can like uh, un uninstall it and then reinstall the exact version mentioned here so here it, it it's mentioning for this time like the, at the time of this recording it's saying 11 it might change in the future so i'm gonna gonna go into this 
link here and, and give your you know the GPU driver the appropriate GPU driver so I'm gonna you're gonna select uh, your appropriate uh, GPU what's there so if you want to check what uh, GPU so I can I think you can go to hardware settings or uh, de device management device manager uh, yeah the device manager you can go to display drivers and you can you can see this is my um, graphics cards GTX 1066 gigabytes so I'm gonna select GeForce 10 series GTX 1060 Windows and game ready it doesn't actually matter I've downloaded I tested with both both works perfectly Telegram language it won't matter so I'm gonna search and then download the appropriate I'm not gonna download because I've already installed it it's gonna give you a simple uh, uh, installation wizard which you can like go through very easily okay after installing the uh, like the, the GeForce driver you will have a GeForce driver here um, here the graphics drivers and the graphics drivers and you can if you have like checked in correctly you might also have the GeForce experience uh, it's, it's not exactly needed, but yeah, I do have the GeForce experience along uh, here like you can get the GeForce experience with this installation So after after you're done with the installing the driver, you have to download the CUDA toolkit Simply just go into this link To the CUDA toolkit. So uh, as you can see they have speci specifically mentioned CUDA 11 uh, Your TensorFlow like I had the, I had it confused like I had TensorFlow version uh, 2.4.1 so uh, I downloaded a different version for at first, but it didn't work, so I had to down download CUDA 11. So from this list, uh, you can find CUDA 11. Uh, this one, CUDA 11 May version. Don't, don't uh, you know? I avoided uh, uh, installing the update one. I just, sorry, I just uh, downloaded the actual version, like here, this one. Excuse me. Yes, uh, I've downloaded the CUDA 11 as they have said here. So going into this. They uh, select your operating system, Windows and Windows architecture and Windows version and it's gonna give you both options. You can select either one. This local means that the entire CUDA toolkit will be downloaded first and then you'll get a simple installation wizard to install the CUDA toolkit and the network is just a simple uh, small file will be downloaded and the rest of the file will be downloaded as the installation is going on. Uh, so yeah, af after you have done and installed the CUDA uh, toolkit the Q uh, the Q cup TI is like you know ships it is they said they says that it is being shipped with CUDA toolkit so you don't have to install or go through this step what you need is uh, doing the CUDA uh, CUD NN this is a library to do deep learning calculations in CUDA so you uh, you need this so going to this Thing and specifically you need the 8.0.4 version so you need to go here download CUD NN and then for this you need to open up a uh, account it's free in NVIDIA developer account you need to log uh, join now for your your way and for me it's just like you know I already have an account so I'm just gonna log in um, not taking okay I'm gonna log in with Google for after we are done with this we are not gonna uh, do the tensor RT because it's an optional uh, it did use improved latency but I've never used it so I'm just gonna skip it this video so after you have logged in you have to agree to the terms and condition and you you will be given a choice to install these things but before installing or downloading these things you need to check the version so it's 8.0.4 but it is giving me 8.2.0 uh, both of them so i need to like you know go into the archived code and then releases to give the uh, to get the previous versions don't uh install the latest one as shown there install the install the version given here so it's 8.0.4 so i'm just gonna there are two like you can see there are like 8.0.4 there are three exactly and 4, sorry, 8.0.4, 8.0.4, there are 4, 8.0.4. So you need to download the version 
uh, which is compatible with CUDA 11.0. So this is the version which is compatible with CUDA 11.0. Click it. You're gonna give. You're gonna get a list of installation uh, site uh, installation uh, links. So download the appropriate one. For me, it's Windows. Click it. I think it's gonna give me the download file. Yeah, it started. I'm gonna it's gonna cancel it because I have already uh, downloaded it. Um, so then what you're gonna do is go to this file uh, if, if I can just show you after what happens after the download uh, I think I do have this okay um, uh, for, for for you can as you can see like when the download started it started as a zip file you should unzip it and you will find something like this you'll find something called CUDA a, a folder in CUDA and you'll find Pro, uh, these things inside it. So uh, these things might change from version to version, but uh, you will what you will find everywhere is uh, after after extracting from the zip file that you will find a CUDA uh, folder. So if you cannot install it, either install WinZip or 7-Zip, anything any any extracting software would do. Uh, so after after you have extracted that, you're gonna set these four paths to your uh, environment variable so what what you can do is to go to environment variables this one and then select the path from the system variables select a path this path and then click on sorry uh, select this path click on edit yeah. I need to go to edit um, environment variables this was supposed to have give me a file for editing in any case like just add the environment variables to this path this this had uh, it's not allowing me to edit now but when you select this it will have an edit edit here like just like this one I can just show it to you like you will you'll find a list like this one so what you'll what you'll do is add these paths like from this C to bin, C to QP and uh, QTI library 64 and C to include. This this much you'll add and uh, wherever you have like you know extracted this CUDA folder, just copy it and paste it on a C drive here your C drive and give uh, like open a folder called tools and like paste the entire CUDA folder inside that so like uh, and after doing that also uh, add this path to the environment variable as well and after that you are exactly done with installing the hardware setups you might want to restart your PC after that and when you're done with this you will have the CUDA installed in your uh, in your system for your TensorFlow and you will be able to use uh, GPU for your deep learning uh, deep learning training and one thing I would like to mention here that you might be confused that if your GPU is using the uh, if your sorry if your machine learning model or training is actually using the GPU or not you might be confused about that uh, for this reason what you uh, what I would say that if the your GPU detects CUDA, like if your GPU, like if I can just show you how to like you know detect uh, the GPU, uh, if you if you can be sure to detect uh, GPUs. So I'm just gonna open a folder. Let me just you know give me a minute. Uh, it is on here. okay I think it's this one so yeah th this is the thing that you can run like th just this command and when you run and it's gonna it's gonna at least like search for the available devices which your uh, like machine learning or deep learning model can run so after after it's done uh, it's first it's importing like as you can see it, it's always gonna find out the G uh, CPU and its memory limit and after you have successfully like uh, installed the CUDA you will also see this GPU and its memory limit. 
So this this is how you know that the CUDA installation has been successful. And every time your uh, your like you know ev every time you will train a model or do some calculation, it will first prioritize the calculations in GPU if GPU limit has been reached or something uh, error occurs, then you can specify uh, or you want the calculation to be done in CPU, you can specify it with, uh, with some other commands. But know that uh, you don't have to specify anything in order to do the calculations in GPU, it's on default mode. It's always going to select the GPU if you have GPU available here. Okay, so that's about it. I don't think I've missed any steps on uh, how to install the CUDA requirements for your deep learning models so yeah that's about it i'm uh soon after this i'm gonna do a series about training your first uh deep learning model i have already have i already have this done so i'm just gonna go through it video by video uh hope it will be of use to you if you have any questions comments or concerns just leave it in the you know comment section and yeah, if you have enjoyed it, like, you know, subscribe and share. Thank you.